Good morning, lights. The teachings of Atlantis, Pradain Light Forces Transmission. Advanced knowledge of the mechanics of the universe was brought to Earth millions of years ago by higher conscious star races from fifth dimensional star systems. The Pleiadians, the Arcturians, the Syrians, and the Andromedans are the primary star nations that seeded and infused everything in the Earth realm with infinite cosmic Akashic intelligence and information. This infinite information field is stored inside the cells of all life on Earth, in all the crystals and minerals of Earth, in all the water of Earth, in all fire, as well as in all the ether of this realm. Every sphere of the Earth is built from this informational field and is completely infused with the entirety of it all. The totality of this stored information is called the Akasha and the Living Library. It is written in the records of the Great Brotherhood that in the middle of time, in the shining civilization of Atlantis, when gods walk the earth, one star family from the Sirius Sea Star system, called the Syrian Dynasty, established earth treaties with the Arcturians and bore children referred to as the sons and daughters of the stars. These divine children would eventually become the twelve families of Atlantis. These Syrian Arcturian hybrid children were isolated from the rest of the surface population and placed on an island in the Atlantic Ocean where they were taught daily from advanced mystery school knowledge. One of these special Atlantean star children was named Ningushzida, the son of Enki of the royal Syrian dynasty. It is said that his face shone like the sun with the appearance of a beautiful angel. Ningushzida grew into an Atlantean god of all goodness and the highest wisdom in his list of accomplishments and contribution to human civilization are mind-boggling to say the least. In Ningushzida's younger years, it is recorded in the ancient tablets that he, Ningushzida, did assist his father Enki and Ninhursak with the fashioning of modern man after their own image and in their likeness in the Garden of Eden. As the twelve families of Atlantis matured into wise adults, they became the High Council and guided for the entire civilization of Atlantis. After thousands of years of spiritual practice and development, he became the primary teacher of knowledge and wisdom to the civilization of Atlantis. The ever-wise Ningushida became known in the latter days of Atlantis as Thoth the Atlantean. This being was very human-looking, and as with all the pantheon of ancient gods, a spirit animal was used to symbolize his divine ability. The ibis was used to depict him because the ibis will clean up the banks of a river after a flood. As you will see, this is exactly what Thoth did when he came to the land of Kem, Egypt. It is recorded that Ningashida Thoth did achieve the highest levels of consciousness of any being that has ever walked on earth. Ningashida Thoth was not only one of the greatest spiritual teachers that ever existed, he was the master architect that built all megalithic temples of earth, the master alchemist who literally transformed lead into gold, and he was a master magician who conquered the laws of nature and became immortal. 
It's important to say here that no matter how divine and wise Ningoshida, Toth became in Atlantis, the rules of his Syrian dynasty family over the entirety of the earth during the days of Atlantis placed Toth first under the command of his father, Enki, and ultimately under his grandfather's command, the primary Syrian sky god, Anu, whose authoritarian word was final on any matter. Around 12,500 years ago, when the great civilization of Atlantis was at its peak, a cosmic cycle was closing as the Syrian sea planet Nibiru was moving through Earth's solar system on its 3,600-year orbit. The chief scientist of Syrian dynasty in that shar proclaimed a dire space weather forecast for planet Earth as the massive planet Nibiru was coming in very near Earth. After much discussion by the councils, it was indeed decreed by the father god Anu in that shar to keep the news of the coming Earth calamity from their creation, the Earth human, and to allow them all be wiped out by the waters of the Great Flood. This world-changing decision was etched into the tablets and the minds of the gods for all eternity so they should remember what happened in those days. After the destiny of humanity had been decreed, both Ningushida and his father Enki went out of their way to try to help and save humanity from what was coming. At least Enki and Ningushida managed to secretly save a few of their beloved human creations, Noah and his family, as well as the samples of all DNA on Earth for the purpose of repopulating and replenishing the Earth after the Big Flood. Ningushida was an influential member of the Atlantean Old Kingdom, Atla Ra Priesthood, who also took great care to preserve the Master Temple Crystals of Atlantis. These massive crystals were moved to safety in time and are still buried in Earth's crust today, generating the most powerful energy vortexes on the planet. <laughs>